welcome to the channel ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel today is speed mondays you know what that means i'm about to talk about some speed dk metcalf he went out and ran with the pros this past weekend and the boy ran 10-3 10-3-6 i believe at the 100 meter dash that's what i expected him to run around that range you know what i'm saying 10-5, 10-3. I made a couple jokes saying that he would run something slower, much slower, but I, I was joking. You know what I'm saying? And then also when I got to thinking about what the time what time the women run, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, he probably will run something faster than 10 5. I mean you got the women like Shakira Richardson who running 10 to 7 right now. You know what I'm saying? That's just I mean that's immaculate. That's best of the best. I'm saying a lot of women aren't running that fast, but she has ran 10-7 multiple times now, so I figure, yeah, he's going to be faster than that. I thought he would be much faster than that, so, it, so he was with a 10-3. But what got me was when they posted the video, I was thinking that it was the final. So I was like, oh my, you know what I'm saying? Because the first place winner, had, he, he ran the 10-1. So I was like, why? I mean, I have seen some slower times this year, so it kind of had me a little baffled, like, and I was thinking that it would be like that because I've seen some slower time. DK ran 10-3-6. And um, I was like, wow. I mean, even though that's still a nice little distance, I was just shocked at the time. You know what I'm saying? How close it was. Like, But turns out that was just a heat. You know what I'm saying? Track guys don't run full speed in heats. So that made even more sense because in the final D DK Metcalf didn't make the final in the final the slowest place the last place guy ran a 10-1 and the fastest guy ran 9-9 DK would have gotten smoked badly at first I was like I said I'm, I'm still impressed but he, I mean he, he ran what the fastest guys in the NFL run and I'm saying if you look at the record of the fastest guy the ones that are recorded a lot of them run around 10-3 10 2. I mean, you have some 10 5 and blah blah. But uh, I believe the fastest is like 10 flat, and that's like Jeff Demps, I believe. But most of them run 10 3, so it wasn't shocking. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it was what was expected. But um, if he would have um, if he would have made the final with a 10 3, he would have been smoked. Like, he would have been like. At my shed or something like that. I'm first place he'd be like at my shed or something like that. But, but yeah, man, it was exciting to see. I like seeing them NFL players go out there, man. I like seeing them go out there and get it in and shoot their shot. There's nothing wrong with that. It's competition. That's what you're supposed to do. If you think you can, go out there and try. You know what I'm On another note, uh, Otto Bowden said if he was to lose 30 pounds, that he believed. Um, DK would have a better shot. He also said something about working on technique, which I agree. You know what I'm saying? Because his technique was not good. His technique for the start was good, but the finish, like the top end, the last part of the race, wasn't good at all. So if he was to lose weight and better his technique, then he might be around the same place. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a little faster, maybe. Because he's all muscle. He's 230 pounds of all muscle, and muscle equals power. If he lose that power, he's going to lose some speed. You know what I'm saying? Because power equals speed. You know what I'm saying? So once that muscle goes, his speed probably going to go too. But add that technique on, and then he gets some more speed back. You know what I'm saying? So that's how, that's what I, how I looked at this this past weekend, DK Mack had one of them running with the big boys. You know what I'm saying? Mike Rogers. I only think Mike Rogers made, I think he didn't qualify. No, he made the final, but he um he didn't finish. I think he dq Um But yeah, man, it was exciting. I want to see him do it again. I want to see Tyree Hill do it again. Chris Johnson ain't playing no more, right? I want to see him go out there. He ain't too old. I want to see all these guys going ahead and be out there. I mean, Chris Johnson, why not? You know what I'm saying? You you retired. Y'all did some training. Your name is still big, man. You, psh, I guarantee you, you'll get some um, Under Armour or Nike to, to sponsor you. You make some, make some couple dollars. But yeah, man. 
that's my speed monday like comment and subscribe i enjoyed it do it again dk you know what i'm saying y'all track boys y'all know what time it is anytime the nfl guys come out there do them dirty you know what i'm saying i get it you want to hold off in the heats you know what i'm saying but y'all know the casual fan is not understanding that me i didn't even catch it like i said when they posted it, i didn't even realize it was a heat so yeah so a lot of the casual fans thinking he actually st he was he was with y'all but we know us 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 track guys know but all right y'all like comment subscribe